You know, we start with the essentials, I call it, or the, or the fundamentals. Um, we do a lot of little breakdown drills. We really try to work on team chemistry um, and coming together. And I think with the, with the tough defensive drills and the, and the fundamental drills, it makes for the leaders show up. Um, and I really try to instill that we're working together with one common goal. Uh, I try to set up a real tough non-conference schedule. Uh, we play the GSAC, I play San Diego Christian, uh, then Masters College that first week. I think it'll really tell where we stand, our strengths and weaknesses. Um, my dad used to always say, play good people and you get better. And uh, I, I think our schedule is one of the tougher ones in Division Three. We'll find out a, a lot about ourselves. Uh, and I think it'll really help us come conference time going against teams that might not be that quite athletic as the teams I'm going to face early on. I got some good leaders at the top. Um, I only got the two seniors, Eric and, and Remy, uh, but I also have two juniors that have played quite a bit in Jack Rodall and Tyler Gaffney. And I think it starts with those uh, three perimeter guys in particular. Um, they get the guys working really hard. Um, they've really set up a good captainship to start. Um, this year's group are really willing. Um, you mentioned it, that I have some good freshmen. Got a, a class of five top freshmen, I feel, that are really gonna help us. And that is what we're doing this year, is kind of mixing an upper group that, that knows my system and the motion and how to defend like we like to here in Claremont and with the younger guys that are quite talented. So it's gonna be a good mix. I think we're gonna keep getting better and better throughout the year. Um, I do have some guys that have ran the motion before, so they're able to teach the guys that motion offense, which really helps me instead of starting from scratch a little bit like I did last year. So I'm kind of excited offensively about where we're gonna start. We got a nice challenging trip to Portland this year. We got two Division Three teams that we're gonna play, Willamette and Pacific. They're both regional games. Um, we play back to back. We'll have to travel a little bit in terms of driving, and I think it'll be a good test for us. Um, it's kind of what they do in the NCAAs is back to back nights. Um, that second night on the road is usually a little rougher on us physically, and that'll be a good challenge. I think the guys are looking forward to it. It's Jack Grodal's uh, stomping grounds, so we're going to actually practice at Jesuit High School um, where he played, was a star there. They won the state championship a few years with Jack, and we're going to have a dinner at the Grodal's house with development, and I think a lot of the alumni are going to come there, so it should be a nice, good trip for us. But basketball-wise, it'll be a good test to see how we come out after those two games. You know, I think we're going to be a little more offensive this year. Um, I've had some really quality teams, and uh, I've had people that really love stag basketball say, boy, it's a really a little bit of a, a slowdown type game. And, you know, yes, we're going to play good defense in the half court, and we're going to rebound well, but I think we're going to be able to get out on the break a little bit more. Uh, it'll be a little more exciting to watch, I think. I think we have some offensive firepower that, that I haven't had in years past. Um, I've had some great teams in the past, but this one might be a little more enjoyable to watch.